Hello and welcome back to my devlog. This week I was modeling and texturing again and it's the last week to do so. Next time I will be placing everything into Unity and see how it looks like and hopefully the scene won't feel that empty anymore. On Monday I started from making a chest model. Everything is hard surface and yet I still decided to use ZBrush although many others would use something else that is more suited for modeling. It took quite a while, but I am getting more comfortable using ZBrush. Later I added some small features on the corners to make it look more interesting. And at this point I was done with the high poly model. Even if it looks unfinished, it's good enough for me. Next step was to make a low poly model and as usual I made it using ZBrush. I imported everything to 3ds Max and unwrap the model properly. The model is simple so this didn't take a lot of time. For now the chest is empty but someday I will also add some gold coins inside. The reason for this is I want to make an animated chest. So when you come close to it, it will open and the coins will be visible for you. Meaning that something valuable is inside. However, the coins will be made as a separate model because there will be some chests that won't have any treasure. Next I baked the maps in Marmoset Toolbag software. This was a case where I actually baked an ID map that I will use for different materials. I imported everything to Photoshop and tried to use only baked maps to create a base texture. In the near future I am also planning to make some different chests that represent different values. The chest I am making now is a simple chest. The question is, should I make them completely different or is it enough to just change the color? Next I imported everything into 3D code and made the texture look more like a hand painted texture. And that was it, this took me around 3 hours to make. Next day I started making some branches that will be laying on the ground. There will be a few branches that are different sizes. It will be possible to pick small branches and place them in your inventory to make something like a campfire later. The bigger ones will not be pickable. There's nothing really new to add here. Everything goes the same way. First high poly model, next low poly model then unwrapping, baking and texturing. You might be wondering why I made a high poly model if the branches are really simple. Last time I made some mushrooms without making a high poly model and it was fine. The reason is I wanted to bake ambient occlusion map to make more realistic shadows. I would have to draw them and I'm not really good at drawing so I thought that it would be faster to just make simple high poly model. We all choose what's comfortable for us and this took me only an hour to make. Next day I started making a campfire. This time I overdid it a little bit. The sculpt was unnecessary detailed. Later when I imported to 3ds Max and compared it with other models it looked strange. So I tried to fix it. But didn't manage to do it well. I didn't want to spend more time on it. So I just left it as it is. Someday in the future I will make it possible to create a campfire by combining branches. It will be lit automatically the first time you put it on the ground. But it will be possible to extinguish the fire and set it on fire again. The campfire will be used to cook food. I might be using it for something else but I can't think of anything interesting right now. So any suggestions are welcome. Last thing I made this week was a few different tents. The reason I made them was to create a place for resting. You will be able to craft a tent from the materials that you gather. Nights will be dangerous where a lot of enemies will appear and I will also add a system where a character feels fatigue from the lack of sleep. In Stardew Valley for example you need to go back home and take a rest. But in my game you will be able to travel great distances, so you won't have time to go back. 
Therefore, building tents for resting will be mandatory, otherwise it will be difficult to fight against enemies the next day. Unlike Minecraft, there will be a lot of enemies during the day as well. I also wanted to make a broken tent that would show a player that someone else was already here. It will be quite often that something is left behind, so it will be possible to find some treasure. But it's gonna be some simple items most of the time. Also, your tent will become broken if you're attacked during your rest. You will have no immunity against the enemies if you're in a tent, that would be silly, but it will be less possible that someone will attack you when you're inside your tent, so it's not recommended to sleep on the ground, although it will also be possible. Anyway, that's it for this week, I hope you like where I'm heading, and if you have any suggestions then just let me know in the comments. Have a great day!